Hello, this is Frank Lugenheim with Integrity Internet Marketing, and we're going to look at the tiny URL shortener. And basically, what a URL shortener does, you have all probably seen some long, humongous URL or website address that can be two or three lines long. Well, what any URL shortener will let you do is to take that large URL paste it into some kind of a shortener and cause it to be you know maybe 8, 10, 12 characters long which are much easier to cut and paste into documents and so forth and so on. What tiny URL shortener does that's unique is allows you to determine what the URL shortener says. Most of them create a URL with a combination of letters and numbers and whatever their algorithms are to determine what it is is internal and irrelevant to us but they don't really make logical sense. Tiny.cc is, is unique in a, in a sense that lets you brand or determine what the URL says. And so well, first of all you have to go to the Tiny.cc website to get to the page that I'm at right now so you can look up here and see the tiny.cc will bring you to this page when you arrive uh, you will not be logged in if you want to set up an account you can register and give them your name and email address username password pretty simple process and registering allows you to manage your URLs which is really a wonderful feature and it provides all kinds of other features we'll look at here in just a second. Now, like I say, there are a lot of URL shorteners out there. A lot of them are built into software and a lot of them are a lot easier and more convenient to use if you're just needing to shorten a URL. Then this one isn't necessarily the best one for you. Uh, Google makes one. There's just a whole ton of them out there and like I say, if they have one so you use Hootsuite or something is built into the software in most cases it makes sense just to use that but if you're wanting to use it long term and you want to brand it and you want to be able to manage it and get stats off of it uh, this is a good option so again when you get here you can see it says how to guess which so pretty much tells you you're not logged in go register if you want to get create an account and we'll show you the benefits of that here in a second but I'm just going to go ahead and log in for the sake of just showing a demo Now that I'm logged in, now it says, hey, neckties, which is what my username is because I've owned a necktie business for many years and I've just kind of held on to that for a consistency. But now you see it shows that I have 56 URLs that I've created over a period of time and I have a feature that allows me to manage those. So if I go into the manage field, it will give me a list of all the URLs that I have shortened and it does it chronologically. In other words, the most current one is in the first position. And you can see the long URL is here, and then the shorter one is here. And I'm going to just go over the one that, this one, number 13 here, I created for my wife's hair salon. And it's got 900, had 996 clicks. 967 unique people that means some of them return and use the same URL over again and you can see the benefit of using this when you want to communicate a message this says hair dash reviews because this will link to our reviews of our customers on my wife's hair salon which is very important for women when you're trying to promote a hair salon and a new client they're always concerned about what somebody would do their hair so obviously having good reviews on the website is a huge deal and you can see 996 and that was pretty much done in one month for the most part when we were really promoting the reviews and so forth and so on but uh, <clears throat> also it's you can see it has some other features up here you can write a note to remind yourself why you created that especially if you use, use some other code sometimes people will use different codes to tell them what it means and it may or may not be relevant to the person using it but it lets them know where it's linking to 
it gives you some filters if you only want to look at some stats from certain uh, browsers and various other things but you can look at that later when I get into that you can reset the URL uh, you can go into stats and this is really helpful uh, this URL is rather old so it's only had some uh, this is showing you the last 30 days and so it's still being used here and there in various locations uh, and uh, then if you look at it over a year period again you can see in March that 746 of those 900 were done in that one month when we were really featuring it but it's got some stats down here too in other words and this will show you the I don't have one that I've recently created that's got some activity in it but anyways it'll show you over the last week the systems that use that URL down here it would show you the different countries in a pie chart that hit on that URL and then in the last current week how many different browsers whether it's Chrome or, Fox or Firefox or uh, whatever it may be that hit the URL and then this is a lifetime of links so you can see a pie chart of how many were you unique visitors versus you know return visitors so it does get you some really nice stats to let you know what's happening with those links within a week or so primarily uh, when you created that URL and launched it okay so we're going to go back and uh, look at some of the other features and again we looked at the stats it also uh, lets you edit it which is a really nice feature because right now you've got the long link and then you've got the tiny link so I could change his hair reviews to say hair art studio and then, then the short URL would that one would also would go to this long link or I can change the long link and leave this like it was uh, and there's a lot of reason why somebody may do that now in my particular case it wouldn't make sense but if you've got a blog page or something where you're featuring something that you're you know dog training you got dog training over here and it's linking to this page but later on you want it to link to another page is better you could still use the dog training here and then change the where it linked to so that all the different places that short URLs are will now link to a different site but so, so it really won't get into all the reasons why somebody may want to do that but it's a really nice feature for some people in some circumstances and then again allows you share that URL to all the social networks and it also you can get a, uh, a QR code with this particular feature so you can see some real benefits again the long URLs up here the short ones right here and, uh, so let's just go make one see so you can see how it works and so we're just going to go to the home page where we were where we came originally and I'm just going to go to this career solutions they've got a seminar they do on networking on steroids so I'm going to just copy that whole URL up in the window there and I would always recommend not typing URLs into these things because the, the odds of you misspelling something or not putting some kind of symbol or something is pretty high so I'm just going to click into that field I'm going to paste that URL in there and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say networking now that's not going to work because networking it's probably already been taken and they're not they can't let two tiny URLs have the same name because it wouldn't know where to send people so that didn't work so now I'm gonna have to go networking so I'll just say networking now I could say networking on steroids I put dashes in there you don't have to use dashes I tend to like to separate my words just so they're more easily read and understood but so now I'm going to hit my little tiny thing little tiny button here and it's going to create so now it's showing me the long URL here and it's, then it's showing me the shorted one here and now I could get a QR code share that remove from the history whatever 
but now I'm, I'm going to my manage URLs and there it is the top one because it's the most recent you can see the long URL on top the short one on the bottom and then I can edit it I can start watching the stats I know when it was created and so forth and so on so that's that's pretty much of the features without going into a lot more detail than I already have uh, you can actually search in this field too because you've got I've got three pages I got 57 URLs so if I want to find one and they're done chronologically so I can actually search and find something uh, like if I just put hair in there it will, it will pull up the ones hair reviews so it's right there so it makes it easier to find so that that's another nice feature for just finding URLs as long as you remember some of the words you use to create it so hopefully that helps again you've got branding you can put your company name your name whatever it's descriptive so it helps people understand what it is and it also functions as a backlink uh, to your website. So there's some other SEO advantages to it as well. So hopefully that'll help you. And thanks for looking. Again, I'm Frank Lugenheim with Integrity Internet Marketing.